Hi ladies, uh, this is Amber Mellon and welcome to my channel for those who are watching. Um, I know I told you today I will be posting two videos. So this is the second video. The first video I did was um, what's in my makeup bag video. I hope you ladies enjoyed that and um, we'll have a makeup tutorial coming soon. Uh, so this video is a little bit different. This is an inspiration video. This is like a, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and inspiration video. So if you want to go grab some coffee, grab some tea while we talk for a little bit. Um, it's, if you, it's, I'm going to try to not make this video long. Uh, I really am. And I'm going to try to just stick straight to the point. So if you ladies stay tuned to the end of the video, you are going to see a little treat about me that you didn't know, okay? So what today I want to talk about this year is fear and faith. That's what this video is about, fear and faith. And the reason why I wanted to talk to you uh, about this particular subject is because I experience a lot of things with this particular subject. There, um, This year, 2014, I am just trying to be a better me. Everything that I said I want to do or thought about doing, things that are deep in my heart, my aspirations, my goals that I want to do, this year, I really want to do them. I really want to accomplish them. I'm tired of, you know, talking about things that I want to do and not and not doing them, not making any type of steps towards them. And so this is uh, my inspiration for creating this video. This is something that's on my heart, and I pray it blesses you and inspires you. Okay, so the other night, I was just thinking, and um, I look, actually looked up the definition of fear. Fear is a feeling of anxiety, unpleasant feeling of anxiety or apprehension caused by the presence of anticipation or danger, frightening thought or idea, or uh, an other entity that causes feeling of fear. Uh, and then there's the fear that that's not really fear is a reverence, respect, or awe for somebody or something. Okay, and then I looked up faith, okay? Belief or trust and devotion to, to trust in somebody or something, especially without logical proof. Trust in God and devotion to God. Strong or unshakable belief in something, especially without proof or evidence. And then the last thing I looked up was hope. Hope. To want or expect something. To have a wish. To get or do something or for something to happen or be true, especially something that seems possible or likely. Confident desire, a feeling that something desirable is likely to happen. The likelihood of success, a chance that something desirable will happen or be possible. Anticipation, and they had like a little, I guess sentence after that, like for example, a hope for a promotion, okay? So ladies, this fear and faith that I'm talking about this year, what in your life, uh, I know, you know, this year, like I said, it's a new year, uh, even though January is over and it's February, it's still the beginning of 2014. What is it, ladies, that is holding you back? What is it that's deep inside you, something that you've always wanted to do, something that you've thought about, okay? You have all, number one, okay, this is me, I'm going to use myself as an example, there are things that that are in me, that are inside of me, that you know I think about doing. There are goals that I have, and I share them with. Okay, so I'm someone that has all the potential in the world. I have the look, I have you know the whole package, but I don't have the confidence behind it. So why is that? Why do we get to that point to where uh, we know what we say we want to do, we can do it. We know that God put it on our heart to do it. We know what to do to do it, but for some reason, just something is just so hard, something is holding us back. Or we begin to make steps and to, towards that goal, and then you know the enemy tries to come in and things happen, and then we just kind of like trickle off, okay? So this year, um, ladies, we have got to increase our faith and deplete our fear. You guys ever had like been excited about something that you were getting ready to do and uh, you had all the support and you just got all this encouragement and you're ready to go and you're fired up and then you get by yourself 
and you're thinking and all of a sudden like this emotion overwhelming emotion of doom and gloom and fear comes over you and you're like what just happened to all those like positive things that I was just thinking what happened to that encouragement that I, that I was feeling why all of a sudden is all are all these thoughts of negativity just rushing in you know like a river ladies that is the enemy um, I have some notes here I am a part of an awesome church um, in the North Carolina area uh, if you live in North Carolina and you're in the Fayetteville Hope Mill Spring Lake you know right around that area uh, I belong to an awesome ministry called um, DEI divine empowerment and like some of these notes um, what I'm getting ready to tell you are not my own thoughts they're the thoughts of, peop of people that I'm under in great leadership Apostle uh, Kevin Robinson and Apostle Sheila Robinson they are uh, over DEI that's their church and um, I live here in the Chapel, here, Chapel Hill area and every second and fourth Thursday out of the month they come down here and we have Bible study awesome teaching awesome notes but so just a big shout out to them ladies if you're looking for a church and you live in that area please check them out I know that it that the things that you will experience there and here will change your life but one of the things that we talked about was uh, do not allow your past to be a dream killer hmm what does that mean do not allow your past to be a dream killer what have you tried to do in the past that you were like really geared up and had faith about and it didn't work and you kind of fell on your face and you're scared to try it again okay do not allow your past to be a, a dream killer no small dreams allowed it is time ladies to increase your faith be all that God has called you to be we want to stop talking about what we want to do and we want to actually start working to where we want to go belief plus behavior equals hope okay the, these are my notes from Bible study again these are not my own notes not this part the other part was but not this part do not uh, allow your dream to be a uh, your past to be a dream killer and belief plus behavior equals hope that means the faith to, to have faith and the ability that God has given you everything that you need to do to succeed because he's with you and with him you can do all things Plus behavior, this is the important part, the actions behind the thought. Okay, we have the thought, it's in our minds, we're excited about it, we want to do it, but we have to have those actions behind us. What stops us from from that action part? You like, Ladies, I have tried some business ventures and they ha could have worked, but you know why they didn't work? I didn't believe in myself. For some reason, I have a hard time, you know... I, I'm, I'm kind of a shy person but um, I just had a hard time opening my mouth and getting people on board with what I believed in and the end of 2012 there was something I wanted to do I saw a need and I was just like you know what I'm just gonna do this you know it was a project that I wanted to do to help kids I love kids I actually have a ministry called princesses for God it's a group of girls that I work with uh, twice a week and even that in itself Princesses for God is something that I, that had been in my heart for years, for like at least three years in my heart to do. And uh, I, I, you know, I would write down on paper like what I thought about it and what were my aspirations for it. But I never started to like walk towards the goal. And then one day, you know, I moved up here and um, I stay in an area with tons, a slew of kids. And, you know, I love outreach ministry. I love to help people. And I was like, you know what? I want to do give some Christmas gifts to all the kids in the neighborhood. Okay, so I did this. I didn't go to any church and ask if I was allowed to do this or can I do this. I didn't go to anybody and be like, do you think this is a good idea? It was on my heart to do it. And, you know, which is, and it was, it's a servitude. It was serving others. And that's what we're supposed to do. We are God's represent, representation. And we are here to serve others so people can see Jesus through us. So what, what better way to show the love of Christ and just give out gifts to, to kids that I don't even know. So Christmas, 2013 Christmas, 
Uh, me and my husband, you know, I didn't know where the money was going to come in from. I, I didn't know. I didn't know all the answers. All I know is that this is something that I wanted to do. And you know what? Fear came over me once again. Like, what are you doing? Like, you, you know, you you don't have the money to do this. This is something new. Do you really think you can pull this off? Like, all those negative comments started flooding in. But you know what? I had to put them to the back of my mind. I had to do what I, I felt was in my heart to do. I didn't even have a lot of people on board with me doing this. But you know what? I trusted God to the end of the way. And every step of the way, God gave me what I needed at that time. I didn't have everything all at one time. It was like a step-by-step -step progress to show God was showing me that, hey, Amber, you know, I put this on your heart to do. Trust me. No, you don't have all the money. No, you don't have people on board with you. No, you don't, uh, you know, my, my church was in Fayetteville, and I'm living here in the Chapel Hill area. So, you know, we haven't really, we haven't found a church up here. So I did this all by myself. It was just something that I just was put on my heart to do. And you know what, uh, guys, I ladies, I had enough presents for every kid in the apartment complex. It was such a blessing. I had I had a few people to help me. Of course, I you know saved my money, put some money to the side, and I, we went out outside right in front of the apartment complex, and we just passed out gifts, and we just shared the love of Christ and what Christmas was all about. And it was awesome, and it was great, and it was such a good feeling to 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 have something in your heart that you wanted to do. Okay, to trust God that He if He put it in your heart, and He's gonna make it happen for you. And to see it happen, to finish it, to start something and finish it, it was just such an awesome feeling. Not only did it make me feel good to help others, you know, it really does feel good to give than to receive. It really does. It's like a everybody says that, but it really does feel good. It actually helps you. It actually is building your character because, you know, God is just, you know, showing you things while you're helping people. So that was awesome. And then I was like, whoa, if I can do that then surely I can do Princesses for God, you know? So I wanted to start a nonprofit organization because um, I love helping people. The organization is called Melon's House of Hope. And I talked to my pastors in them. They told me what I need to do. And so I procrastinated with it for a while. And then my husband, I kept, you know, yeah, I'm married and, you know, I was telling my husband, I was sharing him the things that I want to do. He was like, well, go ahead, babe. You know, did you get your paperwork? Did you get started, whatever? And so I'm like, okay, what's what's the holdup? So I just went and did the process to get the nonprofit started, you guys. And things seem scary when you don't know what to do, but just ask and you shall receive. Okay, so I asked, where do I need to go? Where do I need to do this? I have to do that. And you guys, it wasn't even all that hard. I got everything together. I got my paperwork rolling. I don't want to say everything was perfect. I actually had my paperwork sent back to me because I had some things uh, uh, that needed to be corrected, okay? A little discouraging, but I fixed it, turned it back in, and now I have a nonprofit organization called Melon's House of Hope. Even right now as we're speaking, I still don't have a lot of funding coming into the group. A lot of uh, the money that goes towards this nonprofit is like from tithing, like my tithes and my offerings that I give and I set aside in a separate account for this particular purpose that's on my heart to do that I love because I love working with kids. And um, and after that, after I got Princess for God rolling, you know, I started with, the, with two girls and two girls turned into three, then four girls turned into nine. And those girls is from ages 7 to 12, and those girls just do so much for me. They just bless my spirit. You know, even though I'm teaching them and I'm, like, mentoring them, they bless me. You know, it's just an awesome feeling. And so I was like, wow, I did that. Hmm, I want to do a back-to-school project, okay? So I didn't know how I was going to do it. I actually had a little meltdown because people that I thought were going to help me and give didn't help me or didn't give or uh, you know, had reasons for why they couldn't help. You know, I did get a little discouraged, but I was like, you know what? You know, you have to call somebody who believes in you. When you feel like that, you're doing something that you're in the progress of doing something that God put on your heart to do. You will have little hiccups. It won't be like a smooth transition all the way. And when you get down and get discouraged and you just want to break down and cry and like, you know, I maybe this wasn't a good idea. No, keep going. Call someone who believes in you. Call someone who is on board with what you're doing, who supports you, and just let them fill you with encouragement. Dust yourself off, trust in God, and keep on going. Okay, so that I'm just bringing it back to all those fear 
and faith. Ladies, what what in your life do you have fear of? Do you have fear? I don't know who I'm talking to or who's going to listen to me or if anybody's going to watch this video at all. But what is in your life? What are you afraid of letting go to gain? Okay, so sometimes that we know we know if we let this go, we'll gain so much more. But it's that fear of the unknowing, like, well, if I let this go, what's going to happen? If I cut this relationship loose, will I be able to support myself? You know, if I cut this friend loose, will I have this? You know, it doesn't even have to be that. Just, you know, bad habits. If I stop this bad habit, the fear of not having that bad habit in your life. It's, it's so many different areas of fear. You know, your fear doesn't have to be a fear in believing yourself. Maybe your, your fear is in a relationship or a family member, a fear of telling them something or not telling them something. You know, but we need to give those fears to God because God has not given us a spirit of fear. It says he's given us a spirit of sound mind and fear comes from the enemy. Fear is there to torment us, to torment us in our mind to believing that we, do, we don't make the cut. Like, how dare you try to have the audacity to try to start something or do something new or create something new? That's like what the enemy is saying. Another great note that I got from my Bible study, you guys, is um, the enemy's worst enemy is a person who has tapped into their godliness. Why is a person who has tapped into their godliness is the devil's worst enemy? Well, I'll tell you why. Because the enemy, the enemy knows how powerful uh, one person is, okay? And if one person gets themselves together and gives their lives over to God and trust and believe and is just aligning their self up with God's word and, and just doing what God told them to do, one person can change a slew of things. Maybe not on a big scale, but in, in one person's life, if one person can make a difference in one person's life, that person is going through life and making a difference in other people's life. It's a chain reaction. So when you realize who you are and who created you and who you belong to, which is God, Jesus Christ, your Savior, and that they are there for you, they love you, and you allow them to come into your life. And you know what, Lord? I don't have all the answers. I don't know what to do. I know you put this in my heart to do, so I'm going to do it. You know, even with this YouTube thing, you know, it's different for me. You know, this will be my third video. I don't have a lot of videos. I have goals and aspirations for YouTube. But, you know, even though my channel is going to be about beauty and things I like, you know, it's also a way to share the thoughts that are in my mind. It's an opportunity for to let my light shine, the light of Jesus Christ. And that's another thing, ladies, when you're tapping into all that God's created you to be, your light shines. Who in your life is dimming your light? Who in your life is being negative and trying to shut that light off? Don't allow your light to dim down for nobody. God has created you to be a light. It says you are a light that is set on a hill to be shown to the world, okay? Don't allow somebody to say something negative in your life. You know, haters, they're, they're going to be there. You're going to have people that are negative. Haters have a job, okay? Their job is is to oppress you their job is to come against you and wear you out emotionally don't don't let somebody wear you out emotionally okay and the bible says don't trust in your heart you know out of the heart flows the issues of life we have to think here the the word of god is in here so when we're feeling like we're at work and somebody's saying something negative about us someone's telling lies about us in our heart you you know we like okay i really want to tell this person about themselves but you know what don't waste that time you can show a person who you are by through your actions better than you ever could through your words okay don't let the enemy wear you out emotionally it's all up in here keep the word of god in here meditate on it think on it and let god use you don't fight with your emotions because the enemy's number one job uh is to wear you out okay so uh, this year, no small dreams allowed, okay? Uh, every, God has given us all talents. God has given us all gifts, okay? Uh, pray and ask God, what are those gifts, Lord, that you put inside of me? What is it that you've called me to do? He'll show you. He'll tell you. He'll show you through throughout your day just by talking to people and reassuring you and getting reassurance from other people. You know, He will show you, like, okay, this is what I've called you to do. If you don't know what you're called to do, 
pray about it ask God to show you and he will and be patient and this is the little oh okay so I just want to leave you with three notes and then I have a treat for you guys at the end what area in your life has fear got its hands on your shoulders and saying to you you won't make it you can't do this what are you doing why are you deciding to come out why are you deciding to come out of your shell why are you deciding to open up your mouth the, the words are just so important you guys and when you are speaking with the love of the Lord you can change so many things in your life and you'll see things to start to just happen when you are walking in the love of Christ what what are you afraid of letting go to get what you want okay who or what in your life has your light dimmed down that's keeping you from shining don't let your light dim down for someone else because they're miserable or for someone else because they're hurt you let your light shine because that's what God has called you to do you ladies we don't have to be in a church on the pulpit we don't have to be in the forefront you know God can use us in so many different ways it's just not even funny just the slight of kindness to someone uh, love you know just the words of encouragement can make a difference in, in so many ways and you might have said someone that encouraged them and you know not knowing that what you said has changed their life forever you know what I'm saying and, and we can only do that when we are in right alignment with God when we are keeping our minds stayed on him we are staying focused on him and not worried about what other people are saying not worried about what other people are thinking of us not worrying about others because we've got to do what God called us to do and that's to be a light in the world so ladies this is the treat um I have a song uh for the new year about this particular area and um, I know you guys didn't know I can sing so that's a special treat that's one of my gifts that I have so I just want to leave you with this okay um, so this year it's about faith and not about fear it's about faith y'all and not about fear Whatever you're going through, God's got a plan for you. Whatever you want, don't worry about it. Cause it's about faith and not about fear. It's about faith, y'all, and not about fear. What do you want? What is it you need? What are you afraid of letting go? Just give it to him, he'll make it go. Cause it's about faith and not about fear. Don't let the devil control you with fear. Give it to Him. What is it that's in your heart? What is it you want to do? If you have faith of a mustard seed, He'll do it for you. Cause it's about faith and not about fear. It's about faith this year and not about fear give it to him he'll make it brand new just trust him i know he'll do it for you cause he did it for me and he'll do it for you he changed my soul my mind He'll do it for you, whatever you want to do, what's holding you back, just give it to God, He'll do it, He'll do it for you. So remember, it's about faith, y'all, and not about fear, it's about faith, faith. And not about fear, just give it to God. I know He'll make it brand new, cause it's about faith, y'all. 
and not about fear, fear, but it's about faith. God bless you, ladies. It's about faith and not about fear this year. Don't let anyone or anything hold you back from what God has put in your heart. I love you. God bless you. You're in my prayers and hope you tune in for more. Thanks.